Hello guys, Javi here. Welcome back once again to this channel. In this video, I'm going to explain you and show you how to install the Ryujin simulator and also how to get the files and all that. First of all, I'm going to leave all the necessary information links in the video's description. You need to get these three files. First of all, the Ryujin, secondly, the firmware, and also the keys. So, let's go ahead with the process. When you open by the first time Ryujin, you are going to face the following issue. Keys not found. That is going to be easy to solve. So, go back and you have to extract the keys file and you are going to get these two files. Title keys and prod keys. Let's copy that. Let's go once again to Ryujin, click in file, open Ryujin's folder. And you need to open this folder system you have to paste the files in there and so far we have solved successfully the issue with the keys you need to restart the emulator and as you can see you won't face the issue of the keys not found again so um, we have to go to the second step the firmware the latest version is going to be in there you need to do click in tools install Install a firmware from XCI or ZIP. You need to find in this case your firmware. Um, I have this in my desktop. And there you go. Click in open. That is going to install the firmware. Click in yes. And successfully installed. Okay. So in this moment, we have to also add our game's library. Click in options, settings, add and you need to go to the hard drive that you have all your games in my case i have it here add and now you need to set up also your uh, input in this case your gamepad click in dock mode click in configure and in this part guys you are going to be able to see all your gamepads that you have in your computer connected i have my xbox one I have to do click in profile, default and also in load. That is going to auto map the bottoms in your gamepad. Click in save. Now we need to go to system and we have to be sure that you have enabled the option that is, that is called the profile persistent translation cache and also the open AL API. Click in graphics, you need to be sure that you have the same information as I do in this moment in my system. If you have a good computer, you can set up this higher, for example, uh, 2, 3, 4, but if you have, for example, a poor computer, or I mean with hardware, you can do click in custom, and in this part, we are going to put less resolution in your games, for example, 0 0.5, and that's it. So click in save, and as you can see in this part, that is going to show you your games. In this case, we have so far the emulator ready to go and also launch a game. For example, let me go ahead and launch the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And there you go, that is going to launch the game. Let me volume down the, this, okay, I have it already. So, in the console, you are going to be able to see that the game is loading. This is good. And for example, if you face the issue that the emulator automatically closes, you need to open once again the emulator and that's it. So, for this emu, the Ryujin, you don't need to have any kind of NVIDIA settings and also you need to set up the virtual memory at least with 35,000, yeah, it's working, uh, megabytes. Remember that also uh, when you launch a game by the first time, you are going to face maybe a stuttering due to lack of shader cache. If you want to check or maybe get the shader for these games, you can go to our channel that is called Rejuging Shaders. So guys, as you can see in this case, the uh, game is working properly so far. And also, if you do have any question about this process or you want some assistance with the installation of this emulator, you can ping support in our server. I wish you guys a wonderful day and thank you for watching this video. And have a nice day and stay safe. Goodbye.